YouTube and welcome back to the channel. As always, we're back in the DTS World Mission Editor with another tutorial. So if you go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to the channel, that would really help us out and uh, helps me create more content. Today I'm going to show you how to do a uh, send a picture to you know either a group, unit, coalition, or to all. Uh, that could be quite handy you know, during certain missions maybe. You want to send uh, an, an updated intelligence picture maybe uh, at a certain time. Um, so we'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So I've just selected my own aircraft here. I uh, just downloaded the uh, new F-18F which is quite nice. Um, so we'll, we'll be that player and uh, at the minute we're the only ones on the map so it doesn't really matter because I'm only showing you how to send the picture. So come to triggers. Uh, we can set up a condition, so I'm just going to go ahead with a, a, a time condition, just because it's really simple. So time is more than 10 seconds. And then we want to come down here to the actions, and we want to um, picture to... This is where you can set, select who you want to send it to. So, you know, picture to all, picture to coalition, country, group, unit, and, and so on. So, as soon as I'm the only one on the map, I'm just going to go picture to all. Then you want to come into here, and you want to navigate to wherever your pictures are stored. Um, so I, I just have some of mine in the, um, my pictures file uh, folder. Sorry. Um, so I'm just going to pick something really simple. So I've got a formations picture um, that will display. So after 10 seconds, this picture is going to display. Then we can, can select um, how long we want to display that image for. Uh, so just 10 seconds is fine. Clear view is, say, if it's text, it might get rid of the uh, black background, maybe. Uh, start delay, no need to. And then you can change you know, where you want to have uh, the picture displayed. So uh, I'm happy to have it in the center and the size. I'm happy for the size. Again, just for this post of this tutorial. You can figure it out, uh, play around with these uh, values yourself. Okay, and that's it. So let's go ahead and jump into the sim and see what it does for us. I'd say that the most handy thing about this is probably like an updated intelligence picture maybe uh, or you know if you're getting close to a target a picture of of the target that you're supposed to be hitting you know if it's if it's static maybe. So let's fly about so in 10 seconds time we should get that picture roughly roughly 10 seconds. Here we go and that'll display now for 10 seconds and then it will disappear. So again, it's quite a handy little um, little thing to have. You know, there could be situations where it's useful. So that's how we do that. I hope that you found that this useful. If you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, as I said earlier, that would really help us out. If you've got any suggestions for tutorials, let me know down below and I'll see what I can do. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.